Yes, and welcome back to the 94 Club for your daily dose of country music. Hey, look, this week we've got some exciting artists coming up on the channel. I'm taking a look at some Home Free again. We're looking at Trampled by Turtles, Ryan Bingham, Tyler Childers is back, Colton Wall is back, Turnpike mm -hmm. Troubadours are back, and we're going to look at, who else are we going to look at? Uh, the Hill Country Devil again as well. And just remember, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest videos. And hit that subscribe button and you'll become part of the community here and we'd love to have you as part of the 94 Club. Anyway, let's see what we've got today. Right, so uh, Trampled by Turtles has been requested a lot on this channel. Uh, I'm getting straight into this one. I'm so excited to hear it. Uh, this one is called Victory. You've seen it in the title of the video. Um, let me know what else you want to see uh, from Trampled by Turtles. I already think this is going to be good. I've seen the like ratio. I've seen what people have commented on the video. Uh, one guy even said, if you don't like this video, send me... <laughs> if you, sorry, if you don't like this song, send me your address and I'll come fight you. Uh, so it's just super disagreeing with if people don't like it. So uh, I'm hoping I like it. I'm I'm fairly confident I'm going to. As I say, I've not heard this band before, so I don't know whether it's like folky, rocky, uh, whether it's like blue strings. I really don't know. I've seen a few of the instruments in in the some of the other thumbnails, so um, I know that it's it's heavily strings focused. But anyway, we're gonna get into this. <laughs> Call in this like uh, blue strings or folk. Let me know what the genre is. This feels to me like it's um, quite a lot about self-restriction um, and, and holding yourself back. I'm getting that vibe and, and what you're saying feels like your hands are nailed to the ground. It's like, you know, you want to act on certain things, but you just don't feel comfortable in doing it. Um, you will always want more, but you don't necessarily feel like you can act on it to get there, if that makes sense. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm enjoying this. Let's, uh, let's carry on. It's a hard-earned victory The life that came from you to me Could never be wrong Oh, 
cool. So yeah, I mean, I don't think that's step necessarily the sort of thing I would usually listen to, um, but it's definitely something I enjoy. So I need to be listening to more of this. Um, the song itself tells such a powerful message, and each line works pretty well by itself. Um, we'll go through the lyrics. I mean, essentially, it does feel like to me that it's about holding yourself back. Um, when you know there's something you want to go and get, and that's why it's such a hard-earned victory. Um, so yeah, I mean, we'll go through the lyrics, we'll talk through it, and we'll um, we'll, we'll make some sense of it. Um, all of us lonely, it ain't a sin. And already off the bat, as soon as this line was delivered, I was like, feels like my life a little bit at times. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm 26 years old. Never held down a solid relationship, so at times you do feel. Uh, does feel lonely um, and I guess one of the things about this is for me and again I'm having whenever a song can cause reflection like this for me is a pretty good pretty good thing and pretty and a, and a sign of a pretty good song um, you know it says to me like I always thought that you get yourself in a position where you fully understand who you are what you want to be and you're, you're so self like aware and able to look after yourself without anyone else um without relying on anyone else so like that's actually a thing right yeah you, you you've got to make sure you're fully comfortable and confident in yourself and you love yourself before bringing anyone else in um but also if you wait too long uh, you you don't know how to let anyone else in so that's a problem in itself uh to want something better than the shape you're in i know i guess this is kind of physically mentally whatever um people can relate to this on loads of different levels like you never think you're good enough um but like you want something better and this is one of the things i dealt with so i came back from uh uh i came back from living in the middle east for a little bit so i lived in dubai i'd put loads of weight on i'd see, so me now like put on another uh three stone 17 kilos whatever it is um, that's kind of where I was sitting and I kind of didn't have much shape around my jaw and um, and that kind of thing and I just know like I wasn't getting any attention from women like they just didn't find me that attractive for whatever reason obviously I'd put weight on and it's all well and good like people talking on social media going oh you've got to accept yourself if you're overweight like fine yeah you can and you should um, but for me personally like if I want if there's a certain standard of person like I want to go after uh, today I've got to also love myself enough to make myself as attractive as possible to, to show off if that makes sense I don't want to sound like um, I don't want to sound too not not materialistic I don't want to sound too pretentious or whatever but I definitely felt that like I didn't feel enough uh, maybe that's just me just thinking that way um, but anyway we'll get back to the song so the rain came at the break of day your light in the window pane said come on in and that's just seeing something attractive like whether it's a vision or uh, something you want to go after like a new job or um, you want to you want to pursue a woman and and, and date her or uh, or you know there's something you want to achieve whether it's a lift at a gym uh, I'm just trying to think other things um, yeah, there's so many different things, and that's just the, the the vision of the glory and the success that you kind of want to go after. It's a broken heart, babe. I know the sound feels like your hands are nailed to the ground. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, you feel incapable and uh, incapacitated by by heartbreak that you can't even like get out of bed. Um, it'll pass just like everything else, and that's the whole notion of time's a good healer. Um, you won't let it get to me the next time around so it's just knowing like you're gonna go through this again you're gonna fall for someone else and your heart's your heart's gonna break again and just just accepting the fact uh, and that way you won't let it get you down too much uh, it's a hard-earned victory the life that come from you to me can never be wrong and I think that's the feeling of you know when you're around someone who's so warm and makes you feel so good about yourself I, I think that's the feeling of that life come from you to me is that feeling of feeling alive, basically, if that makes sense, from being around someone whose positive positivity and charisma is so so infectious. Um, 
grown from a moment and a million miles. So this is talking about the journey together. Like it started, it started in a split second, you know, when you catch someone's eye and the whole sort of cliche nature behind that, uh, the idea of love at first sight. Um, that's that's the moment and the million miles is the journey that they've been on together and, and travelled and seen the world or, or or just all of the stuff that they've been through. Um, here lies the stardust and it slowly dies. So obviously like every bright moment because it's like that notion of everything goes up must come down so it's quite a sad song actually and i know it was, if, if this is bluegrass let me know if it is because if it is i know what what they like to do in that sub sub, sub genre is talk on really quite painful topics but in a real light and airy nature um so let me know um yeah here lies the stardust as it, as it slowly dies and that's just the light and the and the love kind of fading away a little bit borrowed from nothing come back half a life this line actually hit me quite hard and now i'm overthinking it i'm starting to try and work out what it means to me um borrowed from nothing come back half a life so okay so that split this down into two so borrowed from nothing is the idea that this love was born out of nothing like there were before that moment that we met there was nothing before that so borrowed from nothing the notion of borrowed is basically suggesting that I've not got it forever. I've not bought it. I don't own it. That is that is not mine to own. So I don't. Um, I've got to give it back at some point. So that's so powerful. Those three words: borrowed from nothing, and then come back half alive, is like all of this goodness that has made me feel alive and made me feel like a hundred percent, a million dollars, whatever. It's made me feel great. Um, I borrowed it and when I give it back, I've had, I've had to give it back and now I feel half alive, but I don't feel like I have felt before. So even before this, this has built me up and the fall and the crash is much harder than than the love was. So you kind of, you go, right, well, if you've got a straight line, you've got love that goes up there and you've got negative emotions that are down here, sends you up and then it takes you past that line on the way back down. Um, and the stars, the whisper blessings as you walk by, who can relate to that line? Damn, I mean, uh, definitely, definitely something that I've felt before. You, you oh, I mean, I kind of get too personal on this one. So, I, yeah, I met a girl quite a few years ago uh, in a pub. I'm not going to talk too much about dates um, because that gives too much away. Um, and we dated for a bit and it went really well. When that ended... And it ended a long time ago, but even for years after, and the period in which we were together was far shorter than the periods gone by. But I definitely think I painted a picture in my head of, of how it could have gone, how it went. Like, I think I just probably have my rose tinted glasses on looking back. Um, but every time I see her, the whispers and doubts come into your head about yourself, about why you didn't make it work, you know, where it could have gone better, things like that. This song has just brought back so many past memories for me and it's given me so much to reflect on, which I really appreciate. And that comes from good good songwriting and good storytelling. So uh, thank you for that, uh, John Bobatels. I know it's an old song. So we will uh, look at some of the newer stuff at some point. So if there's anything you want to see, drop it in the comments, let me know. Um, but for now, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest videos and please hit that subscribe button and you will join the community here. We would love to have you get involved in the comments. I'll get involved after the video goes live uh, and it really brightens up my day. So thank you all. I appreciate you. Thank you.